Good morning. We're on Highway 17, uh, just past Thunder Bay. I guess we're between Thunder Bay and Nipigon. We're we'll gonna be going up Highway 11 into Hearst, Ontario. I'm not gonna get there before they close, but I talked to the customer there, and apparently the guy wants to wait for me. So okay, you don't want it in the morning. I, I can bring it to you tonight. I can get there probably about an hour after they close. So yeah, we'll still be around here. Don't worry. Just, just come on down. Let me know when you're nearby and uh, we'll come take the crate off your trailer. Because it's just one crate on the back of the trailer, right? It's super easy. Take 30 seconds. So that's nice of them. So hopefully that works out. I have a few friends that uh, wanted to tag along with me here on my windshield. I already washed it. I hear your comments. Wash your windshield, Trucker Josh. Why'd you wash your windshield? I do. I do. But when you live up here in Canada, especially in the West, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you wash it, five minutes down the road, it looks like this again. But whatever, we're here uh, trucking along and if we can get unloaded today, that's great because then we can be in Sault Ste. Marie tonight and unload there first thing tomorrow morning. here when we said we were going to get here and uh, the guys went AWOL no one was at the yard they gave me a cell phone number keep hanging up every time I call I texted no response 
I told them when I would be here and they said they were gonna unload me. And then I show up and no one's there. They're ignoring my calls. I left a message. I sent a couple of text messages. Just went AWOL. All they had to do was say, you know what? It didn't work out. We'll unload you in the morning or something came up. Don't have the time today. I would have been like, okay, cool. I even sent that in my message. I said, you know, if it's still, if it doesn't work for today, I'll just come in the morning. That's no problem. Just let me know. Nothing. Just ignored it. And I know that they were getting my phone calls because it was going, uh, it would ring once or twice and then go straight to voicemail. Usually that happens when you uh, screen your calls, right? That's kind of disappointing. A little bit rude in my opinion, but at least acknowledge me and like, tell me, yeah, I'll be there in the morning because whatever, I sent them a message and I was like, okay, I'll see you in the morning. I got here when I said I was going to be here when you said that that was going to be just fine. I don't know why they suddenly just went AWOL, but I didn't get unloaded now, so the rest of my entire trip is pushed back, and I'm going to have to really book it hard to get the rest of this load off this week, or I'll be sitting all weekend because of this. If you say you're going to do something, you know, just follow through and if it doesn't work out to follow through you know just let the people involved know <laughs> but anyway we're going to the husky here down the street in hearst and we're gonna stay here till tomorrow morning when they open up again and i'm not gonna mention anything about it i'm just gonna be there with a smile on my face and act like they didn't totally just uh ditch me today Oh well, stuff happens. Bothers me a little bit. I feel kind of betrayed. <laughs> Not a big deal, I mean. I'm pretty sure I can still get the rest of this load delivered by uh, the end of Friday. Hopefully they'll have a preloaded trailer for me or I'm gonna have to wait until Monday now for a reload. Cause I won't have time to load anywhere on Friday now whereas before I would have. thing is like I said I told them exactly when I was gonna be here and he said that's absolutely no problem I'll still be around and if not here's my personal cell phone just give me a call and uh, I'll come and meet you there you know, that's, that's cool I said I'll be here around like 630 that's that's okay said, yeah no problem that even later than that that'll be okay we can get you unloaded and you'll be on your way like, nice guy nice guy didn't follow through and it would have been, I mean, it would have been all right with me. Totally okay if he would have just responded, responded and said, you know what, something came up. I'm sorry, uh, uh, I can't unload you today after all. We'll have to do it in the morning. I would have been totally like, I already sent him a message saying that that's cool if that's the case. I would have been like, okay, cool, I'll just go. At least I know what's going on then, right? We'll work it out. It's all up to them, right? Whatever makes them happy. But just the fact that they're ignoring me is very unprofessional but it is what it is right and that's fine because uh, I'm gonna get a good sleep here tonight we're gonna be there first thing when they wake up in the morning which is at let's uh, check the Google's here because there was no sign on their building saying what time they opened at and since I can't get a hold of them now because they don't want to come unload me after all uh, I can't ask them when their shop opens in the morning So we'll check on the Google here. 8 a.m. Cool. So we'll be there at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be there at 7:45, maybe even 7:30, waiting for them in front of the front of their building there, and then uh, go from there. It won't take. It'll only take literally like 20 seconds, not even, to unload me. The crate is right at the back of the trailer, and uh, I'm ready for it. Just get a, get out of here early in the morning. Get a good early start tomorrow, and that'll be fun. Now I'll get my schedule back on track this way, anyways. It's better if I wake up early and go to bed early. Uh, for uh, when I get my reload, I'll probably be headed down south. And when you go down into the U.S., you always want to stop a little earlier so that you get parking. Otherwise, you're SOL sometimes when you're looking for parking. So it'll work out. It'll work out. 
and uh, maybe something important came up, you know. Maybe uh, maybe there was an accident. Maybe they had to rush to the hospital. Maybe there's a good reason. You never know. There's probably a good reason. And uh, we'll, figure, we'll, we'll fix it then. <laughs> That's it for today, though. I'm going to go into the Husky here and go to their Husky House West restaurant and get me a clubhouse sandwich because that's my favorite at these places. Try it sometime. If you haven't before, go to the Husky House restaurant and get a clubhouse sandwich. Let's say Trucker Josh told you to try it. That's not an ad. They probably won't even know who I am, but it'll be a conversation starter. Then you can tell them to go and uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Diesel.